In this lesson, we'll learn additional ways for finding and selecting data in your map. First, let's review those methods we've already covered. The Identify tool is the blue circle with the eye in it. You can click on this tool and then click on any feature in your map to find out information about that feature. The Selection tool is the pointer with the bright blue icon behind it. You can click on this tool and then on any feature in your map to select it. If you want to select multiple features in a layer, you can either draw a rectangle around them or you can hold down the shift key as you click on each one. Then if you right click on the layer from which you have features selected in the table of contents, you can open the attribute table and you can view those selected records and all the information they contain in the table. There's other ways of selecting data, however, besides just clicking on a feature that give you a much greater functionality. You can select features based on where they're located relative to other features in the map, or you can select features based on the information in their attribute table. Let's take a look at how to do this first. You can find this option under the Selection menu, and it's called Select by Attributes. When you choose this option, a window will open that will allow you to write an equation to select the features that you want. So in this instance, I'm going to choose Colleges from the pull-down menu at the top to select features from the Colleges layer. Under Method, I want to leave it as Create a New Selection. And in the box just below, there's a list of all the attributes in the Colleges layer. And I can select from the Colleges layer based on any of this information. So for example, if I wanted to find colleges that were of a certain size, I would want to use this enrollment attribute. So I double click on enroll to put it in the expression box at the bottom and then I could click on the greater sign to find the colleges that were above a certain number. And if I click on this get unique values button it will list all the different values that populate this enrollment field in the attribute table. When you're just putting in numbers you don't really need to use the Get Unique Values button because you could just say enrollment is above 5,000, for instance. If it's a text field, however, it's best to use this Get Unique Values button. For instance, you, if you're looking for a certain name of a school, if you use the Get Unique Values button, you can be sure that you're spelling it correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 5,000. I don't want to use any commas. And now my expression reads, Enrollment is greater than 5,000. So if I click the OK button, all of the colleges that have enrollments of over 5,000 will be selected in the map. If I want to see what each of these colleges are without identifying each of them individually, I can right click on the colleges layer in the table of contents, open the attribute table, and show only the selected records. And now I can see that there are three colleges that have enrollments of over 5,000, University of Maine at Augusta, University of Southern Maine, and University of Maine Orono. I can also create more complicated expressions. So let's say I wanted to find all of the colleges that offered advanced degrees. I would use this attribute of degree, and when I get unique values, I can see that there's values of doctor's degrees and master's degree. But instead of saying degree equals doctor's degree or master's degree, I need to write a complete expression each time. So what I would do is I would say degree equals master's degree or degree equals doctor's degree. And click apply. And when I view the records in the attribute table, I can see that there are nine colleges that meet this criteria. I can also create equations based on multiple attributes. So if I wanted to further refine this particular search, say based on enrollment, I would add to what I already typed in, and enroll is greater than 1000, for instance. Now just as if this were an algebraic equation, I need to put the first part of it within parentheses by selecting it and then clicking this button to make the expression read correctly. If you aren't sure whether or not you need the parentheses, it's safer to put them in. It can't hurt to have them there, even if they aren't necessary. So now when I click OK and look at the records in the attribute table, 
I can see that there are now just three schools that meet these criteria. And of course I can view where they are on the map. To clear the features that I already have selected, I go to the selection menu and choose clear selected features. The other way to select features besides just clicking on them is to select them by location. So for instance, if I had a polygon of Cumberland County, I could find all of the colleges that were located in Cumberland County. I think right now, however, I'd like to find all of the colleges that are within, say, 75 miles of Portland. So there's a step I have to take first to do this. I have a layer of all the towns, but I don't have a layer for just Portland. So to be able to select based on Portland, I need to create a layer out of it. I can do this really easily by clicking on it to highlight Portland, right-clicking on the Towns layer in the Table of Contents, going to Selection, and then choose Create Layer from Selected Features. Now I can clear the selected feature to get rid of the highlight of Portland. You can see that Portland is now its own layer. So now I go back up to the Selection menu and choose Select by Location. And I just use these drop-down menus and checkboxes to create the criteria that I want for my selection. So I want to select features from colleges that are within a distance of this main town selection, which in this case is our Portland layer. The buffer I select will be the distance that's input into this expression. So I will type in 75 and choose Miles. Now when I click OK, I can see all those schools that are within 75 miles of Portland. And if I view the attribute table of the colleges, I can see that there's 21 of them, and of course I can see which colleges they are.